Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your November the 20th just for today in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. Welcome to all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers. Thank you. Be sure to like and share for sure. Share with those that you know might benefit. Okay. November 20th. Finding fulfillment. We weren't oriented toward fulfillment. We focused on the emptiness and worthlessness of it all. That comes from the basic text, page 89. There were probably hundreds of times in our act of addiction when we wish we could become someone else. We may have wished we could trade places with someone who owned a nice car or had a larger home, a better job, a more attractive mate, anything but what we had. So severe was our despair that we could hardly imagine anyone being in worse shape than ourselves. In recovery, we may find we are experiencing a different sort of envy. We may continue to compare our insides with others' outsides and feel as though we still don't have enough of anything. We may think everyone, from the newest member to the oldest old-timer, sounds better at meetings than we do. We may think that everyone else must be working a better program because they have a better car, a larger home, more money, and so on. The recovery process experienced through our 12 steps will take us from an attitude of envy and low self-esteem to a place of spiritual fulfillment and deep appreciation for what we do have. We find that we would never willingly trade places with another, for what we have discovered within ourselves is priceless. Just for today, there's much to be grateful for in my life. I will cherish the fulfillment, the spiritual fulfillment I have found in recovery. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. We're talking about finding fulfillment, and I think it's true that initially, and periodically, it's not something that just happens to an individual when they first get to the program. Uh, this is something that I think periodically throughout different phases of my life in recovery, we're talking 30 plus years. So we're talking about quite a bit of my life, right? We're talking about more than half of it I've spent in recovery. So I would have to say that there was always a tendency to focus on negativity focus on the emptiness, focus on the worthlessness, focus on what I don't have, which means that I'm also focusing on what other people have, right? I'm also looking at what other people are doing and comparing my insides to their outsides. And most of the time, when I'm looking at their outsides, I would have to say at some point in time, my true knowledge, right, of, of what they're actually going through, what they're actually sharing in the meetings honestly about, there's a dissonance between their outsides and what's really going on. If I'm being honest, I'm, I am in the position to bring myself out of that negativity, bring myself out of um, comparing myself to other people. Because when I really think about it and I go to, oh, they look nice, they dress nice, they drive nice cars, they go to all the conventions. 
But when they go to talk about, if they're being honest about what really is going on, generally speaking, they're experiencing the same type of feelings, if not the same situations that I am. The routine, day-to-day -day life, interacting with people that uh, you live with, your relationships, your job relationships. I mean, to get to the point where I have this wonderful degree and am burnt out, not even sure if I can walk it out because I'm so tired, right? They're sharing the exact same thing. I'm going to work and don't want to. I'm earning a paycheck because I need to. I've acquired all of these things that require regular payments. And so I'm almost forced by my own need to have material things to get out there on days that I don't even want to. And so I have the ability to pull myself out of that feeling that says I'm not fulfilled, especially when I'm comparing myself to other people. I have the ability to do that because we know that our insides and our outsides often don't match. How many depressed people actually get up and go to work every day? They put on a smile for customer service purposes. We can't count them all. The good thing is that we have the program of Narcotics Anonymous. We have the 12 steps. We can use the 12 steps in the working knowledge that we have of this program apply it to all of our affairs and pull ourselves out of an attitude of envy and low self-esteem to a place of spiritual fulfillment and deep appreciation for what we do have. You know, I was just driving through, through town the other day and I couldn't believe the number of young, and I do mean young, people 20 or less, the number of young people that I actually saw in a homeless state, an unhoused state, some of them scantily dressed as though they had just been kicked out and others well-dressed, but cold and shivering. And I just, I could not believe at that age, a, a person would have to worry about homelessness. And yeah, a lot of it is related to mental illness, but a lot of it is also related to the disease of addiction, the act of using, landing us in places we really don't want to be, outside, in the cold, when the rest of the world is indoors, living their somewhat happy lives, but probably more miserable than happy, but they're indoors out of the cold. And I thought to myself, girl, you have no, no reason to complain about anything. And instantly, a heart filled with gratitude rose up. And that is what this is about. Just for today, there is much to be grateful for in my life. I will cherish the spiritual fulfillment I have found in recovery. You can have the ice cream and cherry on top. You can have it in a nice, clean bowl, which I would compare to the spiritual fulfillment that we find in recovery. Or you can have the ice cream with a cherry on top, on top of a pile of sand or dirt. What we work out of makes life much better. Our spiritual development is important. So today I want you to focus on that. Catch yourself when you're thinking negative and switch, switch to your gratefulness. 
gratitude list rather, right? The things you're grateful for. Switch. As soon as you catch yourself going into, man, this is rough. I hate this. Switch into the glass is half full conversation with yourself. You'll be surprised what it does to your energy as well. Instantly, you'll start feeling better. My name is Mighty Stream, and I've enjoyed talking to you today. Have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you later.